Thousands of people pass through this intersection daily. But how many really know what happens at the subway stop after the sun goes down? They feel like a part of the family. Most of them, they are alone. I got my mom, my sister, my nephew, my friends, couple, a lot of members of my family are here. But they are alone, so at least they feel like they have a small family taking care of them. My name is Jorge Munoz, I'm a school bus driver. And my day from Monday to Friday starts at like 5.15 in the morning. My first job as a school bus driver, I done about 5 o'clock in the afternoon. I get home about 5.20, I rest for 10 minutes, take a cup of coffee and then start over my second job. A second job that requires a lot of energy and help. After going on his daily grocery store run and stopping by churches, food factories and pantries to pick up donations, he and his family cook, pack and prepare enough food for about 120 to 140 hungry people who drop by this subway stop every night. Then I tell him, you see, you know somebody who's, who's got a problem to eat, tell him to come here, they got free food for them. At about 9.30 every single night, Jorge Munoz delivers his fresh home-cooked meals right underneath these subway tracks on Roosevelt Avenue in Queens, New York. I could see that more than 100 or so people have come and gone so far. Do you see a lot more people coming out? Yes, yeah, close, yeah. When I started, it was just eight guys. Two weeks later, there were like 24. And then the second year was increased, increased little bit, little bit, because, you know, everybody start to... Uh, saying hey, there's a free food in that corner, so you have problems, just go eat. But the last six months, eight months, is jumped from 60 to 90, and then from 90 to 130, 140, because the economy, the economy is real bad right now. Munoz has been feeding the needy for the past four years, only missing one day when a snowstorm shut down the streets. He makes only $700 a week and spends about half of it on food, drinks, and packaging. His modest home is filled with food, drinks, and donated clothing. All of it is not working. We just... After four years of being put to work every day, his oven is broken and some of his burners need a little help too. Munoz now has to carry these big bats of food upstairs and uses a sister stove. Why? Why do you do this? Why? Uh, I think it has to be with God. God and my mom. My mom, since my childhood, teach me to share, and that's what we're doing here. Because, yeah, you, you, you're helping and change the life of a hundred guys. If you change the life of one, that's making up for, for, for a lot of times. Imagine changing the life of a hundred. So it's good. I feel good. My mom feels good. We, we helping. I, you had to see their faces. When they smile, that's what well, I always say, that's the way I get paid. When they smile, I mean, thanks God, this guy got something to eat tonight. It's estimated that Jorge Munoz has delivered more than 70,000 meals in the last four years. 70,000 and counting.